Building Global Sustainability Hubs. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 195. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 195, December 18th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us through social media and manage your update, updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, Transfer the second 25% of the written content for the cognition lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan, purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment, using the central theme of cognition, is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% section of the written part of the cognition lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the consciousness lesson plan, bringing it to 25% complete, which you see here. And we finished updating the icons across another 40% of the education pages, bringing us to 80% complete there. What you see here is the core curriculum page, one of the most dramatically different looking pages after this update. We also added a new resource section to all the education pages. Here's an example of what this looks like from our ultimate classroom page. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team finished reformatting and adding sections to the vegan rice recipes and omnivore rice recipes. You can see a sample of that work here on the vegan rice recipe page. The core team also created the new recipes short code, which can be seen at the bottom of every recipes page. You can see a picture of those icons here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team, working with Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 20 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was more AutoCAD image creation and creating the first 50% of the Earth Bag Municipal County Involvement and Permitting page. You can see examples of both here. The core team also reorganized all the images for the shipping container village, Pod 5, into their respective floors and added detailed descriptions for each one. You can see some of this work here. We also created 30 housing icons, each for villages 3 through 6, with the new icons from the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6, shown here. And we updated the color of the highest good food icons, which you can see here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, created these three renders of the tropical atrium with people in them. These now go to the core team for final review and edits. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. 
Here is update 47 of his work that is now focusing on internal home views. What you are seeing is a series of 23 renders testing and developing the lighting in one of these units. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 22nd week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was on kitchen visualizations, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 12th week of work, focusing on exploring new elements for the central recreation space zone 6 and initial 3D visualization of the relaxation and green spaces zones 2 and 9. Working off Aparna's work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, began 3D creation of the same area of the compressed earth block village pod 4 using 3ds Max. This is so he can help with development of what this area will look like. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the treehouse village pod 7. What you see here is his ninth week of this work focusing on a new design for the first and second storage levels in the bathroom and shower tower eliminating an unnecessary stairway and integration of this structure into the complete model. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. What you see here is week 17 of this work that continued with updates to pages 50 and 51 discussing climate and insulation. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included working on the natural pool area, where we placed sitting rocks around the walkway, added water lilies to the pond, and upgraded the compass for the circular walkway with a new stone brick texture design. Also in the natural pool area, we added people and other aesthetic finishing touches to create this final render of the central view looking northwest. Ira Sue, industrial designer, also continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. This week's focus was further development of the instructions by adding more renders, details for the T-joints, and details for the coupling fittings that will house the light socket. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's work was additional calculations for the beams in the second, third, and fourth floor, and column loads for the entire structure. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, Research the most sustainable options for the exterior of the city center so we can start developing a waterproofing page for the structure. And Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 22nd week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finalizing the final four bulbs for the inside and around the structure. Jin Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 15th week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was further clarification of what a household is and calculating residential and commercial washer efficiency and comparing the two using laundry projections for one, five, 50, 100, and 500 households as shown here. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, and Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, continued working on the electrical design for the control and automation systems. This week's focus was research and selection of the conduit and discussions about panel design. What you see here are notes and photos from the weekly collaborative call. Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also finished this first update of the control and automation systems layout to reflect the most recent design changes for the building. You can see this work here. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his fourth week of working on creating our next generation of duplicate city center section drawings. This week's focus was reorganizing the complete master file and further updates to layer organization, colors, and details for all the sections shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, 
individually enriching, cooperative, and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created the new icons you see here and updated them on the copyrights, trademarks, patents, and using them to support open source and free sharing page and the three pages associated with this page. Yuri Vite, music composer and sound designer, completed his seventh week of helping create the music that will accompany the new overview video we are planning. What you hear in the background are versions 7, 7, A, B, and C, testing different instrument groups for the intro. You can visit Yuri's SoundCloud to hear all previous versions. One community is about building global sustainability hubs that provide a way of living that is better than the way that most people are living right now. We believe that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate these global sustainability hubs as a better way of living, as attractive enough, then the idea of building global sustainability hubs will become self-replicating. It will spread on its own. Because it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, people want to build them all over the world. And so our idea is to address that easy enough, affordable enough component in as much detail as possible through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. Specifically, we are creating what we call an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, everybody's familiar with those, and combines them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together in a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub model, and building global sustainability hubs, working together, collaborating together, cooperating together, to improve, to evolve, to increase the global suite of open source and free shared tools, tutorials, and resources necessary for building more and more global sustainability hubs. Teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs purposed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs too. A self-replicating model designed to simultaneously address all of the challenges of this generation and generations to come and adaptable and modifiable enough to address the challenges that we haven't even come to understand are coming yet. Those challenges we don't know are coming. And so we're here to make that easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrate as attractive enough and bring together people with consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that we are the ones that we've been waiting for and are willing to put in the time and energy necessary to create the open source blueprints, the tools, the resources, everything needed so that people can replicate this all over the world. So if you have the consciousness for the highest good of all, and if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to be a part of building global sustainability hubs, get involved with our project. There's lots of different ways to do that. And you can see all those on our helping page. Of course, we're also on all the different social media networks. So if you'd like the easiest way, the simplest, fastest way, to help one community, share our information. Just go to our Facebook page and like all the different posts that we've got there. They're not just about us. Go to our Twitter feed or go to LinkedIn and just like our different posts there or help share this information in a couple in a, in a couple groups that might be interested, something like that. That's the easiest way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to do that. LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Redder, uh, Redder Reddit, uh, Pinterest, all of the different social media networks because our goal is to reach that tipping point of global participation where we can positively and permanently improve the life for everybody on this planet. And our self-replicating model is built to do that. But before it can become self-replicating, enough people have to know. And that small percentage of people like us that are willing to do the work to make it all happen can get involved. And the only way to do that is if we share our information and get our information out there. Of course, the next big thing that we're looking for, of course, is large-scale funding. So our primary focus as an organization is creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints. If we had the funding necessary to get the property off the market that we've been working with now or working around and planning on for the last six years, if we could get that property off the market, we could disclose the location. If we could disclose the location, that would help us build our team a lot faster, legitimize our project to a whole entirely new level. And so we're seeking large-scale funding to do that. So if you or somebody you know 
has the resources to do that, we are an all-volunteer, unpaid, nonprofit organization. So if you'd like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, if you'd like to invest in our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we'd love to speak with you. But know that every donation, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $20 donations, that occasional $100 donation, all of those donations go to our operational expenses and supporting the foundations of one community that do not, and none of it includes any type of salary or payments to myself or anybody else in the organization. We're a 100% volunteer organization, and so thank you, because the expenses that aren't covered by donations are covered by those, the members of the organizations, primarily me. So I'm very grateful for that because our expenses are significant. Even with an all-volunteer staff, it makes a big difference. So every dollar goes to building global sustainability hubs. Nothing goes to salaries. Where we're going with this, though, is to launch an organization that will be a multi-million dollar organization, a demonstration of what's possible with sustainability, capable of sustaining itself financially. And the initial investment in our organization will get us started. We'll build everything that we need to then generate endless revenue through ecotourism and people coming and visiting, experiencing what it is that we do, and if they like what they see, taking it and replicating themselves. And so that model also is open source and free share. That's the highest good economics model, and there's a whole bunch of other elements to it as well, which you can read about on our website. This is how one community is building global sustainability hubs. This is how one community is building the first global sustainability hub. And this is what we're working on every single week. So thanks for following our progress. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit a written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, until next week, thanks for following our progress. We will keep on keeping on. Thank you.